this video we're going to cover some debugging problems with our connect the dots app we have a few errors to go over uh, to make our app stop crashing in certain scenarios so let's think about this first delete so the problem with deleting something is you have to make sure there's something to delete right so if we have one value in each of our x and y let's say one comma five if we go and delete it that's fine but now there's nothing left in our lists so if we press that delete again we're going to try to remove something from our list but our list length is zero right and if we try to remove item zero there is no item zero so that's going to crash our app. And in general, people don't like when our apps crash. So we should stop that from happening. All right? So to prevent that, we can introduce a few logic blocks. So we can have an if statement that says, only delete this stuff if there's actually something in our list. Right? So we want to look at our list block list blocks and we have this is the list empty right that's a question is the list empty so as long as we are taking care of both of our lists we can just say is the x values list empty and if it is then we don't want to delete anything but if it isn't empty that's when we want to delete something so a lot of novice programmers will say, OK, we need an else. Let's put that in the else. And that's the question we have. But then our then is blank. And that doesn't make any sense. We shouldn't leave a blank then. OK? So what we really want to say, is the list not empty? Or is it, does it have something in it? So we can look at our logic blocks. And we have these comparisons, but we always ha also have this negation, this not. And we can say, is the list not empty? And if it's not empty, that's when we can remove something. So we eliminate that weird empty space. Right? So this prevents us from deleting something from nothing. Right? When our list is empty, we shouldn't be able to delete. So we make sure there's something in our list, then we can remove it. That's the first error. We also have a few more caveats. They're less cr bug crashing, more like nuances that probably shouldn't happen. Right? So when we think about drawing all the dots, we should only draw the dots if they were drawn before. Right? We have this button called toggle dot. If the, bu the button is selected as off, then we shouldn't draw any of our dots. If the button is on, then we should draw our dots. So in order to keep track of that, we have to use a variable. And we can set that variable up and say dots drawn, right? And so if it's a global variable, it has to be initialized to something, just like local variables. And we want to say, well, are the dots drawn initially? So when we tap the screen when the app starts, does the dot get drawn? Yes, it does. So our dots are drawn to start with. And the same goes for lines. If they weren't drawn before, we shouldn't just magically draw them. right? We're calling draw lines here. Right, draw all lines. So if we didn't have lines on our screen, now we will. But we really shouldn't. We don't expect to have lines on our screen. We didn't tell it to put lines on our screen. We told it to delete the last dot. Right? So we want to do the same thing for lines. And we said, all right, are our are, are lines drawn?
And so initially, when we think about the app when it starts, are the lines drawn? No, we haven't told it to draw the lines yet. So when we just tap the screen, we have a bunch of dots, but we don't have any lines. So we start that off as false. But that just starts values. We haven't used them anywhere. So we have these procedures that tell us whether to draw things or not. And that's where we can ask the question, hey, should I draw my dots? Or hey, should I draw my lines? So we can introduce question asking into our procedures. So we put an if block, and in that if block, we put all of our code. And then we can ask our question, hey, are our dots drawn? Right? Is this value true? If it is, draw our dots. If it's false, skip all of this code. Same principle goes for our draw lines. Take our if block, stick everything in the if, and then we can ask, hey, are our lines drawn? If so, draw them all. Otherwise, if they're not drawn, don't do any of this. There's no point, all right? So that's how we prevent our lines being drawn or not drawn. So if these are our initial values, they have to change somewhere, right? Otherwise, our dots will always be drawn and our lines will never be drawn. So the most obvious place to do that is in our clear lines button, right? So in our clear lines, we want to get rid of all our lines, which means we shouldn't draw them anymore. That means it should be set to false. But in our connect button, where we connect all the dots with lines, we're actually making the lines occur. So that means we should draw them. So we have to turn it to true, and then we can draw all our lines. Okay? So in our connect, we can set it to true, but in the clear, we set it back to false. So same goes for our dots drawn. Where should we set it to true? Well, when we draw the dots, we do it in a few different places. We do it when we clear all the lines, but we shouldn't be resetting the dots. Here is where we start. We're drawing our canvas. We're tapping on our canvas for a first time. So our lines drawn is false in this case, but our dots drawn is true. When we tap on our canvas when our app starts, then we should see the dot. That's fine. OK because we initialize it to true. So we should also set it to true when we reset everything, right? When we, if this is our initial state for our app, and these x values and y values are our initial state, in our clear canvas button, we set all those, we reset all of those values. Right? We cleared our lists, we cleared our canvas, we also have to reset our variables. So our drawn variables will be reset to true for our dots and false for our lines drawn. So then the question becomes, well, where does that drawn ever become false? Well, when we think about it, we have one button that we haven't done yet, and that's the toggle dots button. So the toggle dots must manipulate that variable somehow to turn the dots on or off. And so those are the bugs that we have to think about. Right? We have all of these blocks and we've gone through and we, we might have a few more oddities and you can think about how to fix them but we've we've nailed the big ones okay and so we leave 
this app as done except for the toggle dots button and we leave the toggle bot dots button up to you to implement using all the knowledge you've gained from all of these blocks we've done together and if you think about the toggle dots button it's just simply going to turn the dots off or on depending on which value it currently is so it'll flip it to the other value but it also has to redraw all the dots or clear them from the screen if they were there so good luck on the implementation of toggle dots